This weekend's McCurdy's comedy headline is a true Southern girl at heart. And let her, <laughs> and let her audience know it. Please welcome Julie Scoggins. Welcome, hey. Julie. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Love it. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for that little cameo. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. See you this weekend. So you and I have something in common. Now we're in different realms of comedy. I do improv comedy, you do stand-up comedy, but I do know what it's like uh, to be traveling and touring and to be married, huh? So uh, all of that. All of that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how's that? Uh, how's that life? Well, it's. Uh, it, I'll tell you. Th I've been married 28 years in a row. <laughs> and people sometimes ask, you know, how do you stay married? Well, I think uh, part of the secret is uh, one of you leave town. <laughs> for about three days every week. Um, I've heard that. I've yep, heard that and that's works. just long enough for the other one to forget that thing you do that really gets <laughs> on their nerves. But uh, my husband has started coming with me a little bit okay. on the road. I know, whatever. Uh -oh. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we listen. It, it's all it's all good. We checked into the hotel in Sarasota yesterday, and. Um, I came back from the ice machine. My husband of 28 years, okay, is looking at some sexy, I don't know, I wouldn't call it pornography, but it was racy. And as soon as I walked in, though, he switched He switched <laughs> it to fishing. And I was like, heck, put it back. You already know how to fish. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, but to, after 28, I mean, I don't even know what the proper anniversary present is, you know, every year has... You travel, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Xanax. <laughs> it's Xanax. <laughs> I'm sure they probably should have been updated from whenever they created those anniversaries. Right. All I remember is 25 <laughs> is silver. Well, then you don't need to worry I know. Yeah, five until five the yeah. So he's traveling with you. Any children? No, no. We never got around to that. <laughs> I kept putting it off. I drove a school bus for three oh. years. That's oh. the best birth control. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. You're also out of town, you know, most of the week, every week for... I wouldn't for have minded <laughs> having kids if I could have been, like, the dad. Like, <laughs> if he would have been a stay-at-home dad and uh -huh. I could just go out and earn... I'm not real maternal, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't... And, and, and my friends are like, you know, when you get to be 40, they're like... Well, don't you hear your biological clock ticking? And I was like, heck no. <laughs> Mine must be digital. So I never. <laughs> a school bus was in a very good choice for you. No, I think that was eye opening, if yeah. anything. But um, yeah, I, and now if I, I could have adopted some, you know, but what am I going to I can't keep up with a pocketbook. You know, what am I going to do? I would put a kid down and forget where I left them. <laughs> and I'm an adopted child. I know I could do that. Mm -hmm. Adoption is awesome. It really is. I mean, I had great parents. My dad was an architect. My mom was a pastor's secretary. I mean, I really shouldn't even be doing this job. I should have <laughs> a real. <laughs> so I'm just saying, uh, being adopted is awesome. Except now, uh, sometimes my husband and I will be in the bed, and he'll be like, "Who's your daddy?" I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> Stop asking me stuff. Oh, Julie, you are fantastic. <laughs> I really uh, encourage everyone to come and uh, check out Julie Scoggins. She'll be at McCurdy's Comedy Theater now through March 18th. For tickets and showtimes, visit their website, McCurdy'sComedy.com. And coming up next, we have a special treat with Sybarite Five, a string quartet with a Suncoast native.